What's up everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ram Talk with JB. I'm your host, Jay Albito. And without further ado, let's welcome our guest of the day. Our first guest today is Jennifer Tran, who is nominated for excellence and leadership in the Drama Club. I want to begin by congratulating you for outstanding achievement directing the first ever virtual play for the Drama Club just a few weeks ago. Oh, thank you. It's been an honor. <laughs> Uh, and what was it like preparing for a virtual play? Um, honestly, like I already, I already chose my play like before the pandemic, so that was kind of already set. But once I actually found out that like oh we'd had to stay in quarantine, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> so uh, luckily the play was already in kind of like video chat format, so that made things easier. But I think it was just more so preparing mentally that I would have to do a virtual play because no one else has really done it but luckily a lot of people in the drama club knew like editing and lighting and like all that stuff so it's a lot easier for me to navigate and without them I probably couldn't have started at all so that was really good awesome and take me through your experiences in the drama club over the past four years what have been your most memorable memorable moments um throughout my four years of drama club it's honestly been a really welcoming experience because like there, I think there's just a stigma that like everyone in drama club is like really nerdy and over dramatic but at least the one at Lynn class school like it's not that bad like like everyone's just a regular high schooler they're very welcoming they're very kind um, and it's also great to be around people who love the things that I do which is like acting so Drama Club has been really, really nice. Um, my most memorable moments of Drama Club was um, we we had this play called uh, like a miracle worker, and we had to use a doll t uh, for one of the child or one of the children. And I get really scared of dolls. So my so people from drama club thought it was funny to like just like make me turn around and point this doll like right in my face. And then I did a 360 and fell on my and fell Whoa. on my back because I was just so scared. I was like uh, and, and then I just started crying because I was like, I can't handle this right now. And then like I just think that was like really funny because you know it was just all in good fun. Um, and, uh, we also had a sleepover, like, all together before, uh, rehearsals because we were just all that close and we were like, hey, like, let's just do a sleepover. And then we did, like, you know, movie nights, we ordered out and stuff and, like, had these really, like, meaningful conversations with each other. And I thought that was, like, really touching and really heartwarming to know that there is a support group. And would you say that um, the drama club is almost like a family? Yeah, de definitely like a family. Um, they like, um, throughout, obviously through high school, there's a lot of issues that uh, people and students go through. And, you know, sometimes I just don't know how to express it, but in drama club, like, I feel like, you know, I'm able to like talk to, like my peers and talk to them about my problems and they'll like help me through it. And it's been really good to kind of just have that support and know that I'm not alone. And yeah. <laughs> and do you have any advice for students who may be considering joining the drama club, but maybe like a little bit nervous, you know, since, you know, it's a new club and maybe they've never even done anything with that. So, yeah. Yeah, like, um, Personally, I would say to just, I know it's easier said than done, but you just need to not be scared, I guess, because there's nothing to be afraid of in drama club. Like sure, like, you know, there are people who have been there like longer and some people know each other already and maybe you have not been in any plays before, but drama club, they actually like, they're really welcoming to new people and like I think they'll like you more if you are new because like they're like oh my gosh like they're trying something new like we want to help them and like that's basically how kind of the orientation or whatever like goes through um so don't be scared of the people and even if you do have like some issues with the club there's an overwhelming amount of people who will be on your side and like 
uh, fight for you. So don't feel like you're going to be attacked or anything. And then for the actual acting part, when I first joined drama club back in like fifth grade, like I, uh, I just, I didn't have experience either, but the only experience I kind of had was just like acting out fictional characters from like stories and books. Like I never had professional experience and like no one in high school really does. Um, so you just have to join and be prepared to learn. Um, and you don't have to do anything special or anything uh, to like get into drama club. You'll always be welcome in a play, even if like you have no experience. So you're, there's always like a position for you and don't just have fun with it, <laughs> basically. Amazing advice. It's important to be yourself and um, just have fun with it because life is too short to stress out over like tiny little things. <laughs> yeah and like you you want to live your life like just not regretting that like you didn't do something because like what's the worst that could really happen you know like if you join drama club um because I know like I said there's a lot of people who will support you and if you have a problem you can always come to them or like the teachers or anything because they always care about you <clears throat> excuse me and um as you move through the second half of your senior year do you currently have any plans after, um, for after high school yeah, I actually plan on attending a four-year college. Um, I have gotten some uh, acceptances so far, so I do have like current options, but I'm still waiting on more colleges. So uh, where I'm going is still undecided, but so far it seems like I'm gonna attend Babson College, but that might change. Um, and I'm gonna go for marketing slash business. Um, and like, that's, that's how it is. I'm gonna continue my education basically. <laughs> And um, when you're in college, so you are going to be studying marketing and business, but are you are you planning to stay involved in theater in any way? In college? Yeah, def definitely. Um, like, you know, theater is just something I can't I can't drop. So I, I will I will find a way to get involved with theater in college, even if it's not going to be my main like career. Um, I still want it as like a side hobby. Awesome. And lastly, describe your senior year in just three words just three words <laughs> i know it's a little bit difficult but <laughs> um probably like senioritis tired and hungry would definitely be my three words <laughs> Well, thank you so much for be for joining me in this interview. You are uh, doing amazing work. I'm just saying that. And all I see is a bright future ahead of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in next week's episode of Ram Talk with JB.